I have made my first ever YouTube video and I have decided to do it on WoW. Uh, this is a five minute video for complete beginners and in this video I'm going to be going over things like realm selection, faction picking, race and class selection and character creation. Uh, there is a few disclaimers to this though, so as I mentioned the video is for beginners and uh, we might feel overwhelmed by the whole process. So I'm not going to be telling any seasoned pros anything that they don't know already. That being said, please stick around because I'm probably going to say at least seven things wrong and would appreciate the feedback. Uh, second thing, all this is subject to change in a few months due to Shadowlands. So this is probably going to be relevant until about October 2020. After that, who knows? Because there is a lot of changes coming to the character creation and the starting um, level experience for Shadowlands. And the third thing is, is, this is my first video, like I said, so I apologize for the dumpster fire. It probably is. I am going to try and learn and improve and I would appreciate any feedback that you've got if you've got the time to give me it. So, that being said, let us start. Right then guys, before you make your brand new character, what you're going to want to do is figure out what realm you're going to be on. So the game is going to have a realm suggested for you, where it is going to decide it is great for new players. However, that might not be the realm for you. So on the right top hand corner, you can click change realm. Now, the reason why you might want to do that is because you decided that you want to be on a German-speaking realm, for example, or that you have friends that are already on a, a different realm that is probably not suggested for you and you want to play with them. That's absolutely fine. So you can scroll down here and have a look at all the different realms. There are four different types of population. So you've got your um, low, normal, high and full, and then there's RP realms as well. So when you decide which realm you want, you just click on it and then hit OK. Um, I was already on the realm that I wanted to be, so that's fine. Then it's going to bring us to our character creation screen. Now, importantly here, before you pick classes and anything like that, you need to decide on your faction. Now the reason why this is super important is, as I mentioned before, if you are playing with friends who've already been playing the game, you want to find out what faction they are. Because if your friends are Alliance and then you decide to make an Undead Warrior, you will not be able to play with them, they are just going to batter you silly. That is not ideal, so find out what the faction is and then go and pick that one. If you're the first one of your friends to arrive, then you just pick whatever you fancy. If you like the look of Dwarves, then go a Dwarf. If you think Tauren look really cool, go a Tauren. They all have their own racial abilities, but realistically they are kind of aesthetic. Um, some of them have more usefulness than others, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. So, when you decide what you want to be, so in this instance we're going to pick Horde, and we are going to go Male, then we need to decide what race we're going to be. So we've got the races down here, so we've got Orc, Undead, Tauren, Cruel, Blood Elf, Goblin, and Pandaren, and then there's this Allied Races tab at the bottom that we're not going to worry about just now, because it's not going to be available to us. So we are going to go a an arc because arcs are pretty cool. If you want to know more information about perhaps the race or the class that you are, just click on more info, funnily enough, and that's going to come up and give you some more information on the class. So for example, it's going to give you a bit of backstory about orcs, tell you about some of their racials, and we are clicked on warrior here, so it's going to tell us what the warrior does. Now, in picking your class, you might decide that um, you want to be ranged or damage dealer or a tank. That's all completely fine. Every single class has at least a DPS spec, so you're always going to be able to do that. Some of them have three DPS specs, some of them have a mix and match. For example, monks can be tanks, healers, melee, um, which is all great. Have a look around, you know, it's really going to be whatever you think looks the coolest or whatever you think sounds the coolest. This is going to be your character just now as we're in Battle for Azeroth, that you're going to be leveling from 1 to 120 does sound quite daunting, it's not that long, but you are going to be playing this character all the time um, before you start trying out alts and things like that, so you know, give it a bit of thought. For me, I've decided that for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go a monk, because I really enjoy monks. So, when you've decided your gender, your faction, your race, and your class, what you then want to do is customise your character. So there are a lot more changes as I mentioned coming to Shadowlands, so we're going to work what we've got just now. I am quite lazy, so I'm just going to use the randomize button. I'll find something that looks pretty cool. Um, so this guy looks fine. And then I'm going to give him a name, so I will call him Kobe, because that makes sense. And then we're going to click finish. And there he is, our beautiful looking character. 
he is ready to jump into the world and start kicking ass and doing what he needs to do. So let us click enter. And there we have it, we have made into the world. You'd have seen a lovely cutscene about the orcs or whatever race you went and find yourself next to a quest giver. We are going to call this video at an end here, but I hope you've enjoyed it. So that was my first video guys. It was very basic and very simple, but hopefully if you search for that, that is what you needed. I am going to be doing more videos and based on the starting area and doing the first few quests. I'm going to go into things like how to complete quests, the type of quests that you bought, and then looking at other things like moving your hotbars and things like that. But just now this is our first foray into it. So thank you very much for coming to watch it. And please keep an eye out for more videos coming your way. That was fun. Thanks.